coronavirus, there are concerns the latest COVID surge is about to get a lot worse. Recent wastewater samples show a significant increase in the virus load driven by the BA5 Omicron subvariant. That usually means positive cases will follow in the next few weeks. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco explains how this surge is different from past surges. The latest wastewater numbers show San Diego is seeing a massive spike in COVID cases. Dr. Chris Longhurst says wastewater testing has become the best way to predict just how much virus is in the community. Now that everybody's home testing because we don't have as many people testing at the hospital or the county to give us a sense of how many cases there are. So this wastewater has been tremendously valuable and we know that the disease prevalence is back up again. Hospitalizations are also up. Sharp Healthcare has roughly 156 patients with COVID, Scripps has 133, and UC San Diego has 70 patients. The numbers are still nowhere near where they were with the Omicron surge this past winter. The vaccines are holding up for severe disease and hospitalizations. In fact, we've only had a few patients mechanically ventilated the last few weeks, and also almost all of them are unvaccinated patients. Hospital staff is also feeling the impact. A spokeswoman with Sharp says they have several hundred employees out either with COVID or because they're caring for someone who has it. Longhurst says UCSD is also seeing staffing challenges, but he is more concerned about the months ahead. However, we're concerned when we look to this winter. Australia, for example, is seeing unprecedented levels of hospitalization now three years into the pandemic. Longhurst says activating the California Notify app on your smartphone is an easy way to help break the cycle of transmission. A useful tool as COVID continues to be a way of life. But I think it's clear that COVID is going to be around as an endemic virus for a long, long time. I'm guessing probably um, my kids and grandkids will be familiar. But over time, this will become less and less severe in terms of these peaks. We'll see less summertime peaks. Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. Longhurst says what's circulating now probably has a mortality rate similar to or less than the flu, but can still be dangerous for the elderly or those with compromised immune systems. San Diego County remains in the high risk community level of COVID-19. Meanwhile, President Biden's doctor says his COVID symptoms are, quote, almost completely resolved. Dr. Kevin O'Connor gave a written update today. He says Biden still has some nasal congestion and hoarseness of his voice, which is an improvement from the sore throat and body aches he had over the weekend. O'Connor says Biden contracted the highly transmissible BA5 Omicron subvariant, which is now the predominant strain in the U.S. A big scare today at a Texas airport. Police say a woman fired a handgun inside Dallas Love Field Airport this morning. This video shows travelers taking cover. Police say it happened near a ticket counter and the woman aimed her gun at the ceiling when she fired. Police say an officer shot her and she was taken to the hospital. No one else in the airport was hurt. This incident did cause some flight cancellations and travelers had to go through security again. Actor Paul Sorvino has died. His publicist says he died from natural causes. Sorvino pro is probably most remembered for portraying Paul Cicero in Goodfellas. But his career spanned decades with roles in Nixon, Dick Tracy, and Reds. He also earned a Tony nomination for them.